Hello everyone, this is Pastor Tommy McMurtry from Liberty Baptist Church in Rock Falls, Illinois. And just wanted to put a video out there, just kind of making everyone aware of something coming up May 17th. Now, May 17th is a Sunday where many churches have decided it's time to open. And I just want to say that I support that effort and uh, we intend to be fully open on May 17th. And uh, this uh, group of churches is kind of led by Pastor Keith Gomez from the Northwest Bible Baptist Church in Elgin, Illinois. Uh, they've sent a letter out to the governor letting them know of their plans to resume services May 17th. And there's going to be, uh, that there's going to be a large coalition of churches joining in and doing that very same thing. And I'm going to leave a link to the press release and to the letter that was sent to the governor in the description of this, but I would encourage uh, pastors especially uh, to read this and to support it and to participate in it because it is very important that we get back to church. And in this letter, they have a description of the measures that they're planning on taking to keep everyone safe. And um, while I don't think that every church needs to necessarily do things exactly that way, I do think it would be good to read and then you can decide what you think would be best for your congregation, for your situation, because every church is different. Them being a larger church, you know, they're going to have to take a few more measures than maybe a smaller church like mine would have to do. But I say all that to say I believe that churches are capable of acting responsibly and being safe and protecting their congregations. I believe the members in the church are capable of acting responsibly and choosing what is best for them and their family. And so you know, either way, you know, every, every situation is different. But I think at this point, I think it's pretty safe to say that it is safe to go to church. In most places, there may be some places where it's different. But there's no doubt at this point that the governor is overstepping his authority. He's taking this way too far. And we've got to decide how much we're going to put up with. And I think... I think it's crossed the line. In the beginning, there was plenty of reason to be concerned and to take some major caution because we didn't know. But folks, the numbers don't lie. We're seeing the numbers. We're seeing what's going on. It's not near as bad as they said. The original shutdown was to flatten the curve so, so hospitals would not get overwhelmed. They never told us this was going to last for months and that if we succeeded, they were just going to double down on us to do even more. This is not what uh, most churches signed up for when they originally shut down. And so I don't think we need to uh, continue on anymore. It's getting ridiculous. And I understand uh, precautions need to be made, but I think there's no doubt we're going overboard. Common sense is not being used. You know, when grocery stores and Walmarts are full of people and they are full of people and churches can't open, something's wrong there. Okay, something is, is unbalanced. And that's what we've got going on in the state. So I would, but I would encourage you to participate. Uh, let them know that you're going to participate. Uh, they're trying to get a list of churches that are on board, and I've given them our name and address and everything. Uh, you know, we will unashamedly be open that day. And I do want to say too, most most likely you're not going to get in any trouble. More and more sheriffs and uh, you know cities and things are not enforcing these guidelines because they realize how unconstitutional they are and just frankly how wrong they are. And in our serve, in our church, in our town, we've never had to close our doors. Um, our local leaders have told us they wouldn't bother us and they haven't. And that, that's been a blessing. Now, I will say, you know, we've taken some measures to kind of shield exactly what's going on. So we're not giving the news media the optics and, you know, giving neighbors reasons to call the police and everything. And we're able to do that in our situation, but we're not going to be doing that anymore come May 17th. Um, it's going to be very obvious that we're open and back in business. And uh, thankfully, I, I don't believe we will have any problems. And I don't believe most of you will either. Now, Here's where many people are concerned. While many have talked to their local police and they've said the same things that ours have, they are worried about just the negative media attention that could come. And let me just say to you as a pastor, as someone who has received a lot of negative media attention and have been hit pretty hard in the past and even, uh, and even recently 
on social media by the community, let me just say that you can't be scared of that. Okay? We've got to stop letting internet trolls and the news media handicap us and stop us from doing the things that we are supposed to do. And the truth is, when that kind of stuff comes, you just need to understand the people in your community that are going to be attacking you are people that never would have gone to your church anyway. And the truth is, there's going to be many people in your community, when they see you take a stand, they're going to say, you know what, that's what I've been looking for. But unfortunately, if we're just doing the same thing that every other church is doing, we're just going to look like every other church. And I think pastors are afraid if they get the negative news media attention that it's going to scare the people in their church. And you know, the truth is it probably will because most churches are not preparing their people for this kind of thing. And so understand, you know, while you not might not be as crazy as Pastor Tommy McMurtry and some of your beliefs, understand it doesn't take much to make you look crazy these days. Just having service can make you look crazy. Just being against gay marriage can make you look crazy these days. How much longer are you going to let them intimidate you into silence? Are you going to keep letting these Twitter trolls that are putting video clips of your sermons out there stop you from preaching the truth? Are you going to let them cause you to sugarcoat things? It's time to just go ahead and you know embrace that and let it just and be thankful they're giving you free advertisement because there's people out there that are looking for strong leadership. They're looking for churches that are uncompromising ready to take a stand if and if you get attacked and you probably will you're going to lose some people in your church but some of these those people probably shouldn't be there anyway they're holding up the work of the lord so don't worry about the bad press you're going to we're all going to get it eventually and so in the meantime support those who are on the front lines you know support northwest bible baptist church that's already got some negative media attention because of this whole thing, and yet is willing to kind of put themselves in the forefront and in the crosshairs of our crazy governor. You know what? Support them. Don't let them be alone in this thing. You know, and it they can't arrest us all. You know, if we just have hundreds and hundreds of churches that are all just doing the right thing and doing it responsibly, which we are all capable of doing, we do not need the government to help us act responsibly. And you know what? I don't need the government to tell me when we can have service. And I think it's very clear that the time has come. It's time to get back to business. So May 17th, um, share this press release, um, spread the news on this. And I encourage all pastors of any denomination, not just Baptists, of every denomination to get on board. It's the First Liberty Institute. They're kind of representing Northwest Bible Baptists in this situation. And, um, you know, I, if you have any questions, you know, reach out to people like them and it's time to take a stand. And I hope you'll do that. And even, even if you're not from Illinois, from all over the country, it's time to get back to church. It's time to get back to business. So anyway, God bless you. Thank you for watching this video.